The boys of BTS are bringing it to NPR and the NBA. Hot 100 number one artist Zach Bryan teams up with Noah Khan. Big Mensa stops by to talk about his new album. We take you to the hottest music events around town, and we've got new music from Drake, Diddy, Dan and Shay, and so much more. We've almost made it to the weekend. I'm Tetris Kelly for Billboard News. It's Friday, September 15th, which means we've got new music in our Friday Music Guide. You bitches really get carried away. Drake surprised us with his first SZA collab. It's called Slime You Out from his upcoming album for all the dogs. You ain't about the shit you rapping about and I can spend the whole one marrying it down. I'm going home like a sword off. We'll have more new music throughout the show, but first, let's get to our top story. V brings it to the tiny desk and Sugar teams up with the NBA. So dancing until as V played NPR's Tiny Desk, making him the first solo K-pop artist to participate in the honor tradition. Previous acts to play NPR's Tiny Desk include Taylor Swift, Justin Bieber, Dua Lipa, and so many more icons. It's the first Tiny Desk performance since the creator Bob Boylan announced his retirement. And if you get a chance to uh, win, and you find yourself behind this desk, uh, prepared to be scared. He's not the only BTS member making moves. Sugar just launched his collab with the NBA. You can get some merch for your favorite teams with that BTS spin now. But you've got to hurry, because they're flying off the shelves. All I am is a man with ambition to be the best. When I failed, they just gave me the vision to see. Diddy got nothing but love to give. His new album is here, and we were lucky enough to talk to him all about it. What do I want to do? What makes me happy? And I was like, I need to get back to music. And so I immediately said, I'm going to start a new label called Love Records. I'm going to focus on R&B, and I'm going to bring back to R&B what it's missing. That soul, that love, that unapologetic blackness, that expression of vulnerability, just a higher frequency. You know, Billboard is always on site when it comes to the biggest music events, and we're bringing you all the access. We were inside the VMAs as they took over Jersey, right after Carol G and J Balvin set the city on fire. A rock legend and a hip hop king took over Brooklyn. And back in LA, we catch vibes with electronic band Jungle. All that in this week's Billboard All Access. Diddy rolled up to Jersey's Prudential Center Sunday night, as did Billboard for a VMAs that had an in-sync comeback, a Shakira Vanguard Award, and we got to see Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion do this in person. Just a couple nights before, Carol G played her second night at Jersey's MetLife Stadium. And boy, did she have a surprise by way of J Balvin. New York, the Jersey Man And over to another borough, rock idol Billy Idol took on King's Theater in Brooklyn. While Gunna had an energetic set at Barclays. And we swing over to LA with a couple Brits. Duo Jungle brought all their electronic funk to a dancing crowd at the forum. Demi gave us the medley we needed at the VMAs, and now you can get all our rocked out hits in revamp. And now we've got to get to my man, Vic Mensa. He came by to talk about his new album, Victor. Uh oh, she gonna be mad, right? Ain't that too bad, right? Turn around and throw it in reverse. Let me see how you work. She be sliding and gliding. She got drip on her body. Girl, niggas can't love you. Let's talk about this music. You got your sophomore album coming. And I feel like your name has been around so long. It's crazy that this is only your second offering. So tell me, how does it feel to put your second piece of work out? I'm very excited about it. It's really a story of redemption and triumph and spirituality and love and pain and struggle, human experience. That's the place I write from. That's what I aim to communicate and to convey. And I'm just so excited to open that conversation with 
any and everyone who listens to this album. We've got some great collaborators. G Easy, Common, Ty Dolla Sign, Love Ty. So how do you go about deciding who you want to bring onto a project? I think first and foremost, it's like the relationship as a human being, as a man with those brothers in particular. Like those are people that I have long standing personal relationships with. So as I'm creating music and I hear a voice to do something, Common, for example, he's my favorite MC since being a little kid. But when I made this song called South Side Story that is featuring Common, immediately I knew it'd be crazy to have his voice on here and his paintbrush, his texture. It had to be crazy that be in the studio with Common, right? Like, were you geeking out a little bit? I was definitely geeking out, man. Yo, Common came in the studio, he's sitting just like I'm sitting with you. He broke out the the sage. Oh, you know? of course. Sage. Let's set the vibe. Sage and the joint of the energy. Bro. That's something I love a lot about him as an artist is like the, the intention in what he does. You know, it's, it's a deeply spiritual process. For the full interview, head to billboard.com. Dan and Shay always blow me away with their vocals, and they arrive with Bigger House. Neon Don't you cry. We're not done with the news yet. We've always got the latest. Zach Bryan and Noah Khan be cooking up a collaboration. Pictures in passing time, you only smile like that when you're drinking. Zach Bryan took to his socials on Thursday with a series of posts showing him in the studio with Noah Khan. It's unclear if the two are collaborating on a track together, but Zach captioned the pic of Noah petting his dog Jack, hardest working man in music. Earlier this month, Zach's self-titled album became his first set to top the Billboard 200. It spawned the Hot 100 topping Casey Musgraves duet, I Remember Everything. Cold shoulder, closing time, you were begging me to stay till the sun rose. Whatever they're working on, Jack seems to approve. That's today's news. Make sure you come back next week for our interviews with Maya and Noah Khan. But before I let you go, we've got one more entry in our Friday Music Guide. Fans were greedy for more Tate McRae, and she is delivered with ooey pop goodness. So short of yourself, baby, don't get for more new bops, hit Billboard.com. I'm Tetris Kelly, and this is Billboard News.